Hey guys, Bruce from the Perth Town Prospect here. I'm sitting out here in the bush of WA at the moment. Uh, it's sort of coming up in late afternoon and I thought I'd just sort of like talk about some of the myths about uh, gold prospecting. Um, I guess the big one is that way too many, and this is popular, popularised, that's a difficult word to say, you know, after lunch. It's a popularised uh, concept that when you go out relatecting, you have to find gold every single time you go out. And there's no other reason to go out. There's just you just you just have to find gold. And um, nothing could be further from the truth. If you have to find gold for your family so they can have food on the table, then basically get a better job. Um, you have more chance basically of winning lotto and taking away a sizable chunk of money than you'll ever will of making a significant amount of chunk of money out of gold prospecting. So, so what do we do with that? The way I look at it, we need to come out in the bush and enjoy the time out in the bush. It's the excuse for coming up here, not the reason. We come out here, we enjoy the time, the quiet time, the sitting around the campfire, the, the research process, the finding out about areas that we would never have see, seen before, visiting places we never would have gone before, places that are completely off the beaten track, finding the history that was left behind by people that visited this area 100, 120, 30 years ago. So that is the reason we come out here, not to come out here and, and find gold every time. Popularised by TV shows that set budgets for going out. You've got to find your 10 ounces or 100 ounces or whatever. Just detract from the whole aspect of the gold prospecting hobby. And just enjoy it for what it is, guys. It's not a glamorous activity, but it's in, in many ways it's a bit like fishing. I love doing fishing. Every time, is every time I go out there, do I catch fish? No. Nope. Do I enjoy every time I go out? You betcha. Um, it doesn't feed my family. 99% of all the fish I ever catch, I just throw straight back in the, into the into water again. It's just the thrill of the catch. Hopefully to see them go away nice and healthy, and I'll hopefully that one day I'll catch them again. Same as the gold. It's come out here. If I find gold, it's fantastic. If not, well, nothing's been lost. Yes, I spent some money on petrol, but I would have done it if I was doing full driving or you know, going fishing or golfing. The other thing is, is metal detectors. Um, too many people on the web say, you know, you've got to have any metal detectors good enough and away you go. You've got to have a proper metal detector that can punch through the mineralized soil to find the gold. If you're not, you're just wasting your time. You won't even find the nails. You won't even find the pieces of tin. It is a complete waste of time so get the right tools for the for the for the for the game guys it's like if you're going to go marlin fishing don't try and fly, catch with a fly rod it ain't gonna work so um so hopefully enjoy these tips if you do enjoy them and you have enjoyed the channel please think about subscribing and giving us a like um it helps the channel immensely and it keeps me motivated to keep doing more thanks guys and i'll see you in the next video